Uh, welcome to the section of introduction to networks and we'll be, sure, we'll be talking about uh, the basic introduction to networks and uh, uh, centralization measures, how to calculate network properties and, and what are the important uh, properties you need to consider while doing some network analysis. So basic. Uh, so first, uh, what's a network is? It's a list of. Uh, it's list of. It's a, a list of collection of individuals which are connected by some relations, and uh, which is which are called edges. For example, vertices of Facebook users, and you connect to your friend by the friendship relation. For also, for example, you have drugs and targets. So drugs connect to targets using that interaction value. Uh, so those. This is how you can represent. Uh, as a network so there are some basic definitions so for example if you denote n is the number of vertices in a network so the maximum possible edges it can form is n squared by 2 that's approximate or and it or is n into n minus 1 by 2 the degree of vertex it represents the number of neighbors the distance between the two vertices uh, two vertices is the length of the shortest path connecting them uh, two vertices are in different components. The distance is undefined or infinite. So, for example, a big network can have two, two unattached uh, graphs or two unattached two, una two components, two sub, sub two big subgraphs which are not connected. So, the two distance between two different subgraphs which are not connected in between, so they can have uh, the distance is undefined. The diameter of a network is the average distance between the pairs of the nodes. So, for example, if you are, so you need to consider uh, the network as connected for calculating the diameter. So there are two basic types of network: directed and undirected. Uh, uh, so, for example, uh, in the first case, the directed it doesn't undirected. So for A, B, C, D, E, so the A connects to B, B connects to C, C connects to E. So this is way how you you know uh, represent undirected. Ones and the direct ones is it's shown by the arrows. It's indicated like A will connect to B, but not B will connect to C. It's the, it, there's no reverse arrows of B to A. So for there's a huge difference of between the directed and undirected. Uh, is that uh, uh, for example the web page A may link to B, but not uh, B will link to A. This is how you can uh, you can think of the undirected one. And also, for example, I, I follow you on Twitter or uh, without following uh, me. So this is how directed network arises. You can represent the networks in three different formats, like using adjacent matrix, which is a uh, which is represented as uh, either binary or you can represent that as weighted network or in edge list format. Or in HSC list so this is how this directed network is represented so one has no outgoing link so it's zero two has three two outgoing links which connects to nodes three and four uh, this one the two connects to three with this uh, arrow and three uh, and two connects to four Uh, the, the properties of the network uh, so you might want to count the number of incoming nodes number of outgoing nodes or in uh, an undirected ones number of uh, nodes uh, or the neighbors a node has so that's that's called the degree and uh, the degree distribution is the frequency count of occurrence of each degree so it means that there are uh, uh, there are uh, two nodes with three incoming degrees there are four nodes with one incoming degree and there are one node with zero incoming degree so this one has zero incoming degree so it indicates that uh, this indicates uh, this node so for example also out degree you can calculate a similar way and if you consider this network as undirected ones then there are three nodes with three three degrees uh, there are two nodes with two degrees there are there are three three nodes with one degree Connected components, as I have said you earlier, so it's connected. Uh, the com uh, strong it's divided into like strongly and weakly connected components. Uh, you can consider this uh, the, the notion of strong and weak connected in terms of directed graphs. 
uh, where each node within a compound can be reached from every other node in the component by the following directed links. For example, in this big in this network, uh, so this is not fully connected. This one, so this has uh, strongly connected components are P, C, D, and E. It means that uh, they can connect within themselves. Uh, uh, within within themselves like uh, D can go to B like using P to E E to B and P can go to D using like P to C C to D but D cannot E cannot go to B so A is not considered in the str as as in the strongly connected component so A is a separate component here similarly for this one as G and H is a strongly connected component but not F so once you in F so you cannot move on to G so that's 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 the total dead dead end here. So for weakly connected components, you just consider this network as a, as undirected, and then you can calculate the weakly connected components uh, here. So there are two weakly connected components in undirected network. There's no directionality, and they just uh, they just same as kind of weakly connected components. The giant component is a, is an is a, uh, is a group of nodes that where all uh, nodes uh, all nodes uh, get easily get connected and you can you mean that every node is reachable from every other node so uh, in which you have the maximum possible number of nodes so it's a big it's the biggest subgraph in the in your big in the, in your in your network that's called a giant component in this in this uh, picture you can see this one is considered as the giant component that there are some central centrality measures which you want to know like if you want to know which are the important nodes in a network and uh, which uh, and those uh, those important nodes can be calculated using uh, some of the uh, network properties like degree which indicates the connectedness of an of a node the closeness like which ease of the no ease of reaching the reaching to the other nodes betweenness role as an intermediary or in a middleman an eigenvector is like not what you know but who you know it shows you how which people you know the more important people you know so so for example i am connected to a people who has lot who is very popular and that person is connected to more popular people so it means that i have a high eigenvector centrality so this is how uh, this this thing measure is calculated uh, Things to remember before considering centrality is center is a measure of a node and centralization is the measure of the whole network. So if you, it also matters when if you consider it as, uh, as the network is directed or undirected. And mostly centrality measures works on binary and unweighted networks but some of the extensions are there of the weighted networks. So first we consider the node degree centrality. So, so if we have a, this consider this network which has for which is connected, this node is connected to five different other nodes with us. Uh, so this has a very high this node has very high degree, and this one has this nodes have low degree. So the cent uh, node so the degree for each node is calculated is based on uh, number of uh, the, uh, the the edges it has divided by uh, the number of uh, the number of uh, the nodes in the network so for example this one 5 by 5 is 1 but for example it has one one edge so it's 1 by 1 by 5 is 0 0.2 so it's been distributed something like this so similarly for this network a line network you have this one 1 2 3 4 5 there are five nodes so for this one it's 2 by 4 it's 0 0.2 similarly for this one and this one this one is uh, the node centrality is 1 by 4 is 0.25 you want to compute the, the centrality of the whole network uh, means it, it's the generalized centralization score of the full network rather than for each node now you can use this formula so for example CDN is the maximum value of the network which shows the maximum degree and then uh, uh, maximum degree and and then you just compute it for every other nodes it's 5 minus 1 for this one 5 minus 1 for this one and this and this one this one and this one and 5 minus 5 is 0 and then you just divide it by n minus 1 plus n minus 2 take the sum 
so it comes by 20 by 20 which is which is one similarly for night network so the sun network is more centralized than the than the line network here the other centrality measure is the closeness if you it shows one still to be in the middle of the network not too far from the center the closeness is closeness is based on the length of the shortest paths average shortest path between the nodes and all, all the other nodes in a network so so it means that actor who has low closeness centrality it means that it takes more time to reach to reach the other nodes and if it has more closeness centrality it indicates that it's way it it takes less number of steps to reach to all other nodes so calculating closeness centrality for example consider this nodes here a b c d e r so for example the closeness centrality of this node is calculated is so this one to this one is there is one path so it's one this one to this is two paths so one and two it's two this one to uh, this node to this node there is there are three paths so it's three and and to this path there are four paths it's 4 it's 10 by 4 uh, and take the inverse it's 0.4 so for each node all this all this uh, values are calculated and you can see 0.67 is the, the has the highest closeness centrality it means that uh, from this node all other nodes it takes less number of steps the normalized one is is calculated based on uh, the CCI uh, divided by the closeness of each node divided by n minus 1 between a centrality is, is the number of shortest path from all the vertices to all, uh, all others that pass through that node. So A, B and C uh, so consider a network and uh, the between a centrality of a node is the number of shortest paths be between the two nodes and a node uh, connecting to, to connecting in between the two nodes. So for example, node has a high between a centrality when they occupy position in the shortest paths connecting many pairs of other actors or nodes in the network. So for example, it is calculated as a summation of G, G, J, K, the number of the number that the actor I is on and then G, J, K is the number of shortest paths uh, connecting the J and K nodes. For example, in this section, uh, in this figure, a lies in between no two other vertices so the between a centrality for this one is zero uh, b lies in between a and three other vertices that is c d e so a to c a to d and a to e there are like three uh, three values so between a centrality is three and c lies in between four pairs of forty four pairs of vertices for example a to d a to e b to d b to e so it's uh, between a centrality is 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 four. The eigenvector centrality is uh, it's 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 uh, no it's it's very it's a very popular one, and it's calculated based on how well connected an individual to the other parts of the network with the greatest connectivity. So, for example, this node and this one has uh, has a, a very high uh, degree but uh, but it doesn't capture uh, uh, doesn't can doesn't capture the other uh, how I am connected how this node is connected to so for example this yellow node is connected to this one which is very popular among 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 the others and it's connected to this one and this one connects to this which is also very popular to others so this node has a very high uh, eigenvector centrality so eigenvector centrality are the leaders they have been leaders of the network they are often public figures with many connections to the other high profile individuals and they and they play like key roles in the opinion opinion leaders and public uh, public shape public perfection and the google page rank algorithm is based on more on the eigenvector uh, centrality so uh, these are the resources where you want to take the courses on network uh, from the Lada Dynamic uh, course in Coursera and there is also another course Network Crowds and Markets at Coursera. There is also a good book from John Klingberg and David Easley, Networks book, uh, the network book 